Um, today's vlog is gonna be like a first day of classes vlog. Um, classes really started yesterday, but all I had was the class that I'm in TA for because my first class got canceled. So today I have three classes. I have management at 9.30, audit at 12.30, and then from 12.30, 1.45, and then from 2 to 3.15, I have um, finance for 12, and I don't even know what finance class it is, to be honest. But I'm in a huge hurry. I need to leave because I have two friends in this class and I'm like the mutual friend between the two friends So I feel like I should get there to get our seats first because it's like a big lecture class and it's literally so cold outside So I'm a little bit more like dressed up than usual. I normally don't wear like legitimate sweaters to class But it's like really cold so I am I just threw on a very tiny amount of makeup because I looked dead this morning I wasn't planning on wearing any but I literally looked awful so had to do that. Today's vlog is also sponsored by Poshmark. I will be listing literally a ton of clothes later and I'm going to be showing you guys some of the awesome things that I'll be listing. I have like some Lululemon and all that kind of stuff but um, thank you so much to Poshmark for sponsoring this video. I got back to school and I like purged my closet so I have this huge pile of clothes in my closet that I really need to post on Poshmark and Poshmark is basically just an app where you can buy and sell clothes and get like brand name stuff for great prices because it's usually like consignment or hardly worn and I've bought like Lululemon and stuff off of there myself and it's really a great app to like make a little bit of money and just clean out your closet but make sure you get money from it you know if you guys want to shop my closet and download Poshmark um, I'll be showing you guys the things I'm listing later then you should check in the description box for the link and just see everything that I have in my closet there's already a ton of stuff in there I've been using Poshmark for literally years I think since I was a junior or senior in high school so um, I have stuff on there literally from forever ago too so definitely check that out in the description box so i really didn't want to wear the sweater but the one i was looking for i forgot i went to my friend logan and i never got it back from her um which is totally fine i can get it from her later but i forgot i didn't have it so this isn't the sweater i was planning on wearing but i'm doing it anyways the sweater is from princess polly it's like a short in the front long in the back one um this jacket i think like zaffle or someone sent me last year Leggings are Lululemon Wonder Unders, and then I'm wearing my classic mini two Uggs. They're like the little short ones that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. And then necklace is from GLDN.com, like golden, but without vowels. And then my little hoop earrings are Altered State, and then the little uh, diamond studs are Target. Back with Julia. <laughs> so happy. Wait, what are we doing in the fur? So I just got home from my first class. Um, it's from 9.30 to 10.45 on Tuesday, Thursdays. And like I said earlier, I don't have another class until 12.30. So I have a little bit of a break there. Um, I had to go by though the econ apartment and just ask about like what I needed to do to sign up for my um, office hours in addition to going to my class. And I just need to like send an email for my preferences. I thought I had to physically go and sign up, but um, I need to figure that out now. I am trying to figure out if I want to do office hours like one hour on Tuesday, Thursday between my 9.30, 10.45 and 12.30 class and just force myself to stay on campus until 3.15 um, and just get them done with then or if I should do them Monday, Wednesday between my um, two o'clock and five o'clock class. So I'm trying to figure that out. I'm leaning a little bit more towards my Tuesday, Thursday, um, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure that out in my head right now. So uh, I just need to think that through because I really need to sign up for these hours like ASAP. Um, I don't think I'll typically come home between my 9.30 and 12.30 class. I'll probably stay on campus and do work. But like right now, I just don't have any work. So there's no sense in me staying on campus. I just wanted to come home so I'd be able to eat something before class and um, just chill, honestly. And um, right now, I'm just about to figure out my office hours and everything. 
probably start taking pictures for the things I'm posting on Poshmark. Um, and I'll show you guys those things in a second. But yeah, my class was good. That class is definitely gonna be like one of my like buffer classes. Last semester I didn't have any and it made my semester really hard to take four like really hard classes. Um, so this semester I have like three like really hard classes and then management's like definitely going to be an easy class. Um, and an interesting one and I'm glad I have my friend Amy Lee and Julia in that class. And I don't know about you guys but like <laughs> I literally hate the beginning of semesters because I completely forget about like all the expenses that come with starting a new semester. Like your first grocery bill is always huge. And then um, I wasn't planning on doing bar like at all this semester just because I'm really trying to like not spend money on things that are unnecessary. I have the motivation and drive myself to make myself work out as many times as I want to during the week. So there's no sense in me like paying $100 a month for a membership to a workout place, which I do love bar, don't get me wrong, but like it's just unnecessary at this point in my life when I'm trying to save as much money as I can. And the issue is that they charge my card today and they don't like ever do any refunds if they charge your card, you're like stuck with it. And I'm just so mad because I thought that when I like stopped the membership back in December when I went home for break, it wouldn't start back up because that's what happened Last year when I did bar, I did the same thing. I stopped it over Christmas break and then it didn't start again at all during the next semester. But they said I paused it and I didn't cancel it. So it started back up. So now I'm stuck paying $100 this month for a bar membership that I didn't want to do. And I'm really mad about it because now it's like making me angry and I like just don't even want to go, which I know I, I need to go to make use of it and everything. But like I just wasn't planning on having to pay for that and like I'm just mad about it, but I mean, I'll get over it. I think my friend Megan that I did bar with last semester is going to go with me some. So um, this month she said she'll probably do it with me. So that's really sweet of her. And then also like textbooks, I completely forgot textbooks were a thing and I'm gonna have to buy all those. And then um, dues for the business fraternity I'm in. So it's a lot of stuff and I don't like paying it. But once it's done, it's done and I don't have to worry about any more stuff. I was not kidding when I said I purged my closet and I have a lot to post on Poshmark. This like is making me stressed looking at it. Just to show you guys a few things, um, I'm going to sell this fur jacket. I just have already worn it a few times and it's still in like perfect condition. I'm selling this honey bum skirt, this free people shirt. Um, once again, I just don't need any more basic t-shirts and I already have some I like and this one's honestly a little bit too small on me on my shoulders. <laughs> so this is just like a deep v-neck. Um, green free people shirt but it's really soft and ribbed selling this yellow lululemon tank um i used to wear this to work out and everything obviously but it's basically in perfect condition it's super duper soft and i just um have plenty of tank tops and i don't need any more workout tank tops selling this green bodysuit from zaffle i've never actually worn it but it's so cute um but it's a little bit long on me so i love the like little heart neckline though Really cute, and it's a really pretty pastel color for spring. Selling this tank top, I already have taken pictures in it and worn it and everything, but perfect condition. These are from Adore Me, and I have like five pairs of gray sweatpants now, so this is just, once again, an extra thing that I don't need. Lots of like basic stuff I'm selling. This is just like one of those waffle knit shirts that's like super flowy. Um, it's really, really soft and comfy. That's pretty much the bulk of it. There's like some rompers in here for the summer. Um, there's a sweater once again this color just this color looks good on me in the summer But like I cannot wear sweaters and stuff like this when I'm as pale as I am But I love how the sweater feels. It's one of those mohair ones and it has like the puffy um, Sleeves so if you want to download Poshmark definitely go um, check the link in the description box and download it and shop My closet so you can get some of these awesome things and I try to price everything like super reasonably For the most part everything is ten dollars and under on my Poshmark um, unless it's like brand new and it obviously costs more than that or if it's like something that's like more expensive like shoes or a bag or something that i bought for more but i do try and price everything very reasonably so definitely go check that out down below in the description box so it is 12 o'clock i need to leave in like 10 minutes to go to my next class or my next two classes i guess but um i'm just eating a quick little lunch <laughs> it's really just like a combination of random snacks i'm gonna eat some of these um no sugar added sliced pears 
Um, I have not tried these before, but they're basically just salt and pepper. Little rice crackers with this tribe everything hummus that I get from Target. So good. If you don't have this brand of hummus, but you have like a Trader Joe's, I just suggest getting everything but the bagel seasoning and then um, any regular hummus and just sticking the seasoning on the hummus because that's essentially what this is, but this hummus is really not that expensive. And I also cut up an apple and I'll probably just eat this with some peanut butter, but I got you pretty quickly. Hi guys, so I am back home from my classes. They went well. I'm sorry I didn't vlog more on campus. I was like, um, I got caught up talking to friends in between my two classes. And then after my last class, I just didn't want to put my camera out because I had the piece so bad and it was really cold and I was just trying to beat the traffic. So I was just like rushing to my car. My first class was audit or was my first class it was my second class of the day but my first class for the afternoon was audit and it went well um my teacher seems like really awesome like don't know if i'm gonna like the class i'm just like interested to see how i like it i guess and it seems like it'll be like a good amount of work but it seems doable and everything that went well and then my second class was um finance 412 and it's like my first um specific finance class i've only taken 301 and 302 so like this one's my first 400 level so I think it's gonna be kind of hard because um, apparently it's like a lot of math and I didn't know that. But I'm not bad at math or anything. I'm actually, like, it's one of my strongest things, but um, I just haven't done it in so long. <laughs> like it's literally been since my senior year of high school since I've done math besides the math that I did in intermediate micro, which was pretty basic calculus. And I'm just like, cool. So that'll be interesting. Um, and we have to be in groups in that class and I know like one person in it, so. Yeah, and I went ahead and put some chicken in the crock pot for dinner tonight to have that ready. And yeah, I think the rest of tonight I will probably just be watching videos, editing videos, and trying to like get everything organized in my planner. But I'll probably be dedicating most of tomorrow, like getting my crap together, like for what I have in each class and putting everything in my planner. So I'll probably vlog tomorrow too for you guys. I did want to tell you guys, I have never. Like really mentioned who I watch. Like you guys know some of the people I watch, I guess. But like I wanted to sh tell you guys about some channels I like found that I like. Um, I found them like pretty recently, probably like a few days ago. I don't know if you guys watch Brooke Ditas, but she's like definitely a smaller channel, like twenty thousand ish. But um, her videos came up on like my recommended the other day or something, and she has like really similar content to mine, like working out, college, all that stuff. Um, so I'll leave her channel link down below. Her videos are like really good and like aesthetically pleasing and everything. And then let me find the other one. The other one, it's kind of funny because one of them's like young college and then the other one's like post college. I like to watch all kinds of content as you can tell. K Choi, um, it's K C H O I. I think I'm saying that right. But she's like a consultant and she just like vlogs her work stuff and then she does like career related videos. Um, and I think they're really good. I like them a lot. It's kind of just interesting to see post-grad life in my opinion, so I, that's why I like watching them. But yeah, I like it a lot. So those are two channels I like. I'll leave them linked down below for you guys to check out and show them some love. Getting dinner ready. Um, I just basically put some chicken breasts in here. I had like four of like the small chicken breast tenderloins that I got at the store the other day and I just stuck them straight in here, covered them with um, buffalo sauce and had them in the crock pot on warm for like two hours and then the remaining 30 minutes I had it on high. Um, you can do it on high for two hours and usually it's perfectly fine and then after they have cooked all the way I shred it up. Um, and then in here I just have microwavable sweet potatoes. I found this recipe on Pinterest and I've been making it for like a year now. Um, it's super duper easy because this requires like literally minimal to no effort. But if you, um, on Pinterest the recipes normally have the sweet potatoes in the actual crock pot itself. But um, I normally just get the microwavable ones because it's easier. Also going to make some green beans with it. And I think that's all we're going to have because it's like pretty filling. So normally like one vegetable and then chicken and sweet potatoes plenty. So I've been chilling for a little bit. It is later now, um, 7.20. I ate dinner a little bit ago. And I think Katie and I are going to brunch in the morning. So I'm super excited for that. We're going to try a new like acai bowl place, I think, that I didn't even know existed until she said something. But right now, I'm going to go get gelato <laughs> with my friend Megan. I have two friends named Megan that I'm pretty close to. And they're both in accounting. So it's hard for me to clarify which one's which. But um, it's the one you guys have seen in vlogs more. But we're going to go get gelato at this place in Northport. Um, I've never been before, but I was craving something sweet. I'm like... If I'm craving something, most of the time I'm gonna go get it, but um, I'm like obviously don't do that often, so I'm like letting myself do it tonight, 
and I haven't ate very much today so I'm like still kind of hungry after dinner but the gelato looked really good in the pictures that I saw on Yelp and it's just a place I haven't been before and I didn't want anything like as heavy as ice cream but I also didn't want like cake or like anything like that I'm not a huge fan of that so my big dessert weakness is definitely like ice cream and that kind of and cookies and that kind of stuff I don't really like cake that much but we're gonna go get some gelato so I'll check in with you guys there just got gelato with Megan. Super yummy. We went to Peter Brook Chocolatier in Northport and it's really good. I got cookies and cream on a comb and then she got, what'd you get, the mint? I got cookies and cream and mint chocolate chip. <laughs> and they really packed her down. I know, they packed it so full, it's so good. I'm home now and I changed into some pajamas. I just put on this little um, papaya enzyme peel that I got in a FabFitFun box a while ago by this brand. It doesn't look like I have anything on because I think you just like rinse it off after 10 minutes. But I just really wanted to do some kind of face mask. So I'm going to let this sit on my face and I just got some water and brought it into my room. And right now I'm just going to kind of like go through my to-do list and check off anything I got done today and just evaluate what I didn't get done and anything I didn't get done that like needs to be done soon. I'm going to do right now or tomorrow if I can't get it done right away. So here was like my to-do list for today. Um, I did not post your clothes on Poshmark, but I took pictures of them, which is what I meant to put on there anyways. I signed up for my lab hours, sent my schedule to my professor. It did not work out, boo. <laughs> um, I need to do this right now, and I need to figure that out tomorrow, and I did do this. So I'm going to put in tomorrow's to-do. So I'm gonna do that right now, and I also need to print some Poshmark labels for clothes that I need to send out tomorrow after I go eat with Katie. So, I can't miss spot today, so I'm just going to spend the rest of the night like doing my planner stuff, um, getting some YouTube related work done, and then printing out those Poshmark labels. Probably gonna have a pretty early night bed wise. And I will just see you guys soon in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to download Poshmark down below with my link and just shop my closet and make a Poshmark of your own. Maybe try and make some money by selling clothes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you aren't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.